What is this? So this is grading gravel. This is grading. This is doing lawns. It's picking up apples. It's plowing snow. Is this all the same so right thing? So right here, it's taking gravel out of grass. These tines can flex back and flip gravel out of grass. That's freaking insane right there. And then when he reverses, the, the whole entire rig flips up. It's not using any electricity or hydraulics. We didn't even mention this thing was in the works when we were there. Look it's at this thing. New product coming out, We're ready to go with it. Is this released now or not? This just came out today. This is our main release. Oh, so this yes. is the big reveal at the show. We've done a soft. The use of uh, a powered machine like a skid steer or a pallet or a uh, uh, forklift. And it's all powered by it's all a powered by, by a hand drill. All right, you guys, we got a jam pack show today. We got some tools, gear, and equipment that you're not going to see anywhere else unless you happen to be attending the show. But if you couldn't attend the show, well, just watch the video because I'm going to try to show you all of the coolest stuff. But I'm not going to be able to fit it all in today's video. So hit that subscribe button and come back because I'm going to have a multiple video series on the new tools, gear, and equipment from Equip Expo and also from SEMA. I just got back from SEMA just a couple days ago and some of the tools, gear, and equipment there were amazing. And that's coming down the pipeline uh, later on. But sit back, relax, and let's check out some of the coolest stuff that I found at Equip Expo 2022. Very quick attach, my buddy Shane. Shane, how you doing? Good to see you. Shane's an engineer, so he builds all of these crazy cool stuff, and this is probably the only one in the industry is what you're telling me. Yep. Okay, what are we looking at with this thing, Shane? It's a mini landscape rake. We've made and sold 72-inch models for large skid steers for many years, but this is a 48-inch model. Fits all the mini loaders, uh, ASV, Bobcat, Toro, Ditch Witch, Premier, and uh, the reason it's really useful is because the landscapers that are working in small areas, now you can get into those small areas with your landscape rake and get it cleaned up before you lay down your saw. Where is this available at? Uh, Quickattach.com. Um, we have show specials going on for the show this week too. What's the price point? Yeah. Like uh, Roughly. You caught me off guard there. I don't know the pricing. I'm good at doing that. What's the warranty on it? Two year warranty on all of our equipment. Two year warranty on everything. So you order online with Quick Attach, right? Yep. So this actually has a bucket that will flip up. Correct. So this will collect all of the rocks inside of the bucket, and then you can flip that bucket up and dump the and rocks dump it, and get right. rid of them. Yep. Okay. Sticks, debris, rocks, anything that you don't want. So if you're doing a final landscape, you want to till the ground up, you're going to use a power auger like you got down here. Right. And then before you lay the sod, you want to get rid of all those sticks and debris, you're going to come back through with this bad boy, and then that's going to get that sod ready for you. Yep. No going out and manually picking anything up. So if you're in questionable materials or questionable soils, this eliminates one more step, which is the labor step, which yep. is what we're hurting the most on in this industry. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Like with the Guys, I'm with Ed, and you've got a new bagger system for a stand on more. Yep. Okay, so let's walk through this real quick. So the, the challenge that we've had is a lot of these stand on mowers, they can't hold a lot of grass in the back of them. So a lot of folks, you have one machine that you have the rider with a bagger on it for your leaf cleanups, and you got your stand on for high production. We've been able to now combine the two. So we took basically our bagger system that fits a rider's high capacity bagger system, and it goes on this adapter kit in the back of the stand on mower. So now they use those. Wait a minute, this will fit on a rider or a standard? Yes. Fine. Yep. So if you have both... It's the same system on either one. You can retrofit it to yes. either, either model? Yep. Okay. Now the other perk that came with it is the adapter here has a trailer hitch in it. So if you, if you have any other kind of equipment you want to go around, you can just use the hitch receiver once you take the bagger off. Really? Yep. Okay. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of implements nowadays that fit. Or 
And this is available now? Yes, yep. It's available this fall. We're selling them. Break them out. What's the price point on something like this? We're around $3,600, which is about where most commercial bagger systems sit. And what models will this fit on? Any standard ZK, any uh, ZXT rider, or ZXL rider. Those three paint product families it fits right up into. What's the conversion time? So if I want to take it off a standard and put it on yep. a rider, what, how long is that going to take me? Well, the whole installation, you have to swap this pulley out, and we're the only company that has a full-size drive pulley. Usually that's like a little weenie hinge pulley. So you got to swap that out. This goes on in like 30 seconds. And then the adapter kit, the first time you do it, that's about six or eight volts. Um, but then after that, it's just these cotter pins. If you pull these cotter pins, you can remove the hopper and slide on the other machine. So if you have this pulley on two different units, yep. Yep. can you leave that pulley on? You leave the pulley on, yep. Once you pull the blower off, the belt just pops right off and you drop it on the other one. So you're talking about... 30 seconds. Yeah, you're talking about less than a minute to convert and add from one to the other yep. after you have both units set up. Yep. Exactly. And that's only by you guys. Nobody else is doing this. Correct. Yep. Okay, so if you guys are looking for something like this, Wright Moore is available at your dealers, right? Yep. yep. Okay. Any right and this is Ed Wright. This is the guy that when you look at a Wright Mower, he spells his last name the same way. That's right. Funny. That's right. Ed's one it's of the owners. A He's a good dude. We're trying to talk him into doing a full length video. So is that right? Tell him, tell him to do it in the comments. <laughs> Guys, I'm with Brandon from where Ezra Lawn. Ezra Lawn. Nice to meet you, Brandon. What is this we're looking at? Uh, this is a yard rake from Ezra Lawn. Okay. Uh, this rake is designed to go on any zero turn with the spindle. This bracket here fits on the different spindles. You, have, you can put it in different orientations. Uh, it's a patented clamp. Okay. And so we're allowed to have universal fit. The great thing about this is that it, when you reverse, uh, this will um, fall down, and when you re when you reverse, it will come up, and when you go forward, it'll fall down, and you'll have. <clears throat> Nothing too well. You're fine, Brandon. He'll cut it. He'll cut it. You're fine. Is this is this it right here working right here? Yeah. What is this? So this is grading gravel. This is grading. This is doing lawns. It's picking up apples. It's plowing snow. Is this all the same so right thing? So right here, it's taking gravel out of grass. These tines can flex back and flip gravel out of grass. That's freaking insane, right there. And then when he reverses. The, the whole entire rake flips up. It's not using any electricity or hydraulics. Does it flip up automatic? The action of these wheels, the swivel wheels turn and flip it up automatically. And you don't need to have any electronics or hydraulics at all. Are you, but it works are you like manually you lifting it up? <laughs> not at all. You only touch this when you go to the job site. And then after you get to the job site, you just take your foot and you're ready to go. You never have to touch it again. You just keep your hands. Is this right actually here. something that people can buy, or are you selling the patent? Right now, you can buy it. It's uh, this bottle right here is fifteen hundred dollars. Where okay. can they buy it at? You can guy go to EzraLawn.com. EzraLawn.com. <laughs> There you go. Good job, Brandon. Thank you. So this is the the newest by New Holland. Yes, this is the New Holland construction. This is the and the, I think we have one outside a B seventy five D backo that's uh, also new. So when did this come out? Uh, we introduced it to our dealers to quarters for it last fall. Uh, and start chipping it in the end of Q1, Q2 of this year. Oh, this year, okay. So this, tell, give me the specs on this thing, will you? Yeah. And what's your name? My name's Todd DeBach. Todd, okay. Yeah. What's the specs on it? Uh, about 115 horsepower. Um, it's got a uh, unique emission system on it. It's uh, selective catalytic reduction in DOC, uh, uh, diesel oxidation catalyst. Uh, 3.4 liter engine, smooth running. It's a it's a family engine from Fiat powertrain within our within our company. Uh, and 6,200 pounds of ROC is about as high as you're ever going to find in a compact track motor. So it's about that that uh, 
Bad boy. Golden beast. How you doing? So this is technically the biggest compact track motor, not the most powerful though. Uh, with the 6,200 pounds of uh, ROC is okay. top dog right now. So, the, so that's what you're actually referring to, but I was actually referring to the horsepower. So that, and uh, that goes... 115 horsepower, it's, it's, there's some that are a little more than that, right. uh, but it's, it's how you use it and, and what, you, uh, what you can do with it. And, uh, we can do a lot. We can get high flow hydraulics on this, 4,000 PSI, uh, 44 gallon minute hydraulic flow, so you can power anything. What's the price point on something like this in the warranty? Uh, it's about $140,000. 140? Uh, yeah. I was going down the road and I seen on a trailer a New Holland skid loader go by me in New Holland tractor blue, but this was a skid loader. And this was not something I thought was available in blue. And so I put up a video of it and people were all over me in the comments. Oh my God, New Holland skid loaders have been available for years in blue. And I had zero clue about that. And even to this day, I still wonder how accurate that is. So I'm gonna ask this guy straight up, whether that's a regular color, a specialty color, or what the deal is with that color. And we're gonna find out in just a minute. But before we do, I want to tell you about these guys at Jobber. These guys are a channel sponsor and a phenomenal company to work with. These guys have allowed me to free myself up so I can get to all of these different shows and bring you this kind of content. So a big thanks goes out to them personally from me. But on a flip side of that note, Jobber is something we actually started to implement just this year. And it's been amazing to work with. My crew has picked it up. Tim inside of the office has picked it up. These guys are starting, I'm watching them starting to do something that I've never seen them do and they're using this system to communicate with each other. Blaine is using it, Alex is using it, Tim is using it. They're scheduling jobs, they're communicating who's done what bid, where we are at on the schedule in the queue, where each job is at, they're invoicing off from it. My entire team, without me prompting them or asking them, has started to implement Jobber on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's been baby steps at first. So they're starting to just use some of the basic functions, but after they've started to use it, I'm noticing that they're getting deeper into the content. So if you guys, I wanna hear from you guys. If you guys use Jobber, what's your experience with it and how are you using it? So far, it's been phenomenal for us, but I wanna hear from you what you guys think about it. And if you guys are thinking about using Jobber, just go check them out. They've got amazing deals and they've got systems in place where you don't have to spend a lot of money to get familiar with the system to make sure it's right for you. I love this system. It really is good stuff. But let's get back to these guys at the show and find out the mystery behind this color and whether blue is a viable option or a specialty takeoff color or what the deal is with it. Okay. <laughs> that I'm aware of. I've seen blue, I've seen orange. Yeah, I've you've seen, seen some, well, and not from the top. Yes, I have. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not come out of our, the only thing we had, we did a one-off blue, uh, 328 uh, skidster loader. It was kind of like this thing. We had it for, for shows and ran around. Okay. But, I mean, people can paint it whatever color they want. I guess I'm going to have to show you because I... No, I, I mean, we, you, we you did tell, a, You tell me if this is wrong, but is that not you or is that not you? No, that's us. That's that's a that's a. Um, uh, that's uh, blue. That's orange, and there's yellow. Yeah, and they and they they they've done they've done for show units one off for the ag side the test. You can get special paint if you're like a municipality, okay. but we don't just offer them in different colors. There you go, because you guys, the audience, told me, oh yeah, you could get your, you can order your New Holland in any color you want. Well, you can. One of the things we do, we do it with our ag equipment as well. If you have municipalities that have a specific color that they need, um, and you know, North, North Carolina orange, there's there's different ones. You can do that as a as a special order for a municipality. We don't just come up and pick. So, so. this is your stock machine, just a different yep. color. Yep. Okay, it's okay. Just, okay. We're so just that's judging. We're just judging uh, what people think of the, the color delivery. There you go. Them, so. Now you guys know what I know. Let's keep searching <laughs> for new products. Thank you, Todd. Much appreciated. So I was at Andy's actually your place when we shot the All Todd's video. And you didn't even mention this thing was in the works when we were there. 
Look at this uh, thing. New product coming out. So tell me a little bit about this thing. It's called a switch? This is the new switch, yeah. So we're gonna have multi-attachment usage so we can go from broom to a blower, brush hog deck, blade. We've got a brine system as well for pre-treatment. So you get this thing all set to go? We are, we are ready to go with this. Is this a release now or not? This just came out today. This is our main release. Oh, so this yes. is the big reveal at the show. We've done a soft release back in June with it to you know show that we're starting to work on some stuff. And we've got to finalize here with the power plant for the Kawasaki. The you got the Evo yes, in it. Oh, yes, holy crap, that's brand new. 34 horse EFI. You go, a lot of improvements. Really nice product to have. Uh, have the Kawasaki power plant. Here. What's the base point on price point on it, Andy? And what's these the warranty are, on it? These are going to retail right around uh, 25 for the for the base unit on here. So 25 for this. Yeah. The attachments are going to be between four and six, depending on the complexity of them. Yeah, depending on what you're going to go with from attachment standpoint. So okay. Depending on if it's a deep love over here, or we go to a broom attachment. We've got the snow thrower that's going to be 44 and 54 inch width sizes, as well as uh, a brush deck now from 44 to 54. What's the back order look like on these things? Uh, I'm anticipating a lot of sales with it. You know, it's a product now that's going to be able to be used seasonal, so we can use this thing year round. We're going to have the, the snow market. We've got the, obviously the plow for sidewalks. We've got mowing now, so this machine can be used 12 months of the year. Versus, you know, 12 months of the snow year. market, the most part, is four months. So, yeah. Get yeah. your bang for your buck, your return of investment, all that comes back much faster. And these are dedicated attachments for your machine because I can see where yes, you guys sir. built this. Yes. This is at an aftermarket that you cut. This is built by Altos in Minnesota. This is directly from Altos, correct? Yeah. 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 Until so. right out of the gate. All right. So this will be available at dealer networks. Just um, get on the list, wait list. Yeah. So obviously reach out to the closest dealer by to set up a demonstration for it that way. We are hoping to have some product here within the next, say, three to four months. But the full release for complete availability. Should be the spring of next year for the upcoming snow season. Cool. All right. So that's new by Alta. Yes. Thanks, Andy. Absolutely. Thank you. Much Thank appreciate you. it. moving heavy equipment around lots without the use of uh, a powered machine like a skid steer or a pallet or a uh, uh, forklift and it's all powered by it's all a powered by, by a, a hand drill forward and reverse How much will it move? 1,200 pounds. And where can you guys, where people find this? So. They can find these at uh, most uh, farm machinery manufacturer or farm machinery dealerships. And it's called the Iron, Iron Ant. Ant. Mm -hmm. And what's the starting price for that? $4,900. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Well, I hope you guys like these equipment shows. If you do, the thumbs up goes a long way. And if you really like them, hit that subscribe button because there's a lot more coming down the pipeline. And if you want more right away, just go check out some of the previous shows that I've done in the catalog. I've got tons of great tool and equipment videos out there. And I want to hear from you guys. What's your favorite kind of video? Do you like these show videos? Do you like it when I'm out on a job site? Do you like it when I'm taking an individual piece of equipment out into the mud and muck and filth and trying to destroy it? What do you guys want to see? But that's all we got for you today. I want to hear from you. But that's it for now. God bless. Go get them, you guys. We'll catch you on the next one.